Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the vehicle body node in Godot 4. So you can start, go ahead and add in the vehicle body 3D node to your scene. Let's go ahead and add in a mesh. This could be whatever mesh you would like. I'm just going to do a cube to help visualize the car. And also add in a collision shape. So collision shape 3D. Cube. And what's a vehicle without wheels? We need to add in a few vehicle wheel nodes. So we need to add in, you know, as many of these as you would like. Go ahead, drag them out. This is your wheel. Wherever the arrow is pointing is the direction that you want to move in. So we need to rotate this 90 degrees to face the front of the car. And I like to go with the top down view to better place these. And now that we have all of our wheels, let's go ahead and start messing around with some values in them. In the front two, under Vehicle Body 3D, let's set this to Use as Steering, since we want to steer with them. And then you could choose to use as Traction, which basically is what will propel the car. But I'm going to put this onto the back ones only. And right now, they're kind of small. I think the car would tear up against the ground. So let's go grab all of them, go to Wheel, and just increase the radius. Let's do 0.75. Now, right now, we have this good visualizer for our wheels. However, there isn't actually anything there if you play the game. So... Let's add in a mesh instance, make this a cylinder. We can go to a front view, rotate it. Also add on a material. Let's just make this a darker gray. And of course, make sure that the wheel is the same size as your actual wheel radius. Now, if you did this the same way that I did, you can simply copy the mesh and then paste it into all the other wheels. And now you have all of your tires. I've also gone ahead and just attached a camera 3D node to the back of the car so that we can see it in game. The car currently doesn't do anything. So let's add a new script. And in our project, project settings, make sure you have some input map set up. I have W, A, S, and D for up, down, left, right. We need to add two variables, one being a max steer variable for how far you want to be able to steer and also a engine power or a horsepower equivalent variable. So at export variable max steer 0.9. And then let's also do at export variable engine power, set this to 300. Next up in the physics process function, it's gonna set the steering variable which is actually built into the vehicle body node. Set this to move toward, let's move steering toward the new input dot get axis. And then remember those input maps that we set before. So right and left, and then let's multiply this by our max steer. And then we will do delta times any value you want. This will just be how fast it transitions from current steering to the new value. Well, we can steer now, but we can't actually move the car. So access the engine force variable, which is also built into the vehicle node. Let's get input dot get access. Remember those maps we did before. So up and down or down up, I mean, times our engine power variable. Now if you press play, we'll see that we have our vehicle. You can move, you can turn, you can move forward and backward, and everything works the way you would think it would work. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.